Hey, it's you guys again. What's up? It's Kenny O, and this is Mahalo.com. This white background, this is Mahalo. We work in a white nebula of clouds, and we're in heaven. No, we're not. We're in Santa Monica, California. And uh, I'm just kind of goofy, because I don't know. I've just been drawing a lot, but uh, I'm ready to draw some more. And I'm ready to teach you guys how to draw. And uh, man, if you've watched and drawn every one of my videos, you're probably drawing not a master, I would say Padawan, maybe Jedi. Not quite Jedi master, but Jedi. So keep drawing with me, guys. And you know, because I uh, put out a lot of videos. Whew. And um, let's go ahead and get started. And we're drawing Pumbaa from The Lion King, the warthog who would like to eat bugs. I like to eat bugs, but gummy worms. Those are the only kind of bugs I like to eat, not real bugs. All right. Kenny, you talk too much, I know. All uh, right, so we're going to go ahead and draw an oval right now. And that is pretty much Pumbaa from The Lion King, guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. No, all right, come on. I'm just being silly. All right, so we got that oval. And um, from there, we're going to draw. I'm just going to map out the body just a little bit. The oval is kind of like almost the shape of his head. And we're going to draw a bean shape. You're like, what is that? Well, my friends, stick around and see. I'm going to map out the tail. And it's kind of got the Lion King tail. Just like that. And looking all right. And we're just going to be really light and loose. Real sketchy. Start putting in the legs. You're like, Kenny, hold on, buddies. We're getting there. We've got his other leg. And drawing that hind leg, and you can you're gonna start seeing it come together. And just map that out just a little bit. Come right here, and he's got that other leg. So you're like, what is that? Well, we're almost done, guys. We're not almost done, but we're just kind of beginning. So from there, I'm gonna draw the snout. I'm gonna map it out. Big triangle, guys. And Draw the mouth. Kind of draw some lines right here. All right. Come on here. So we got the nose. Let's get the nose down. Just follow me. And we shall go. And let's add some arcs right here because these are where his eyes are going to go. And he's got these big old cheekbones. And I'm taking a step back and looking, feeling it out. His nose kind of comes up a little bit. And he's kind of a, a bit of a tricky character to draw. We got to get kind of sketchy with this one. Some eyes right here. And he's got his big old cheekbone. Just gonna map that out a little bit and put in a line for his face. And he's got a big old kind of jaw action going on. Let's go ahead. Just really lightly start kind of mapping out his body. Come around here. Put in his stomach. His stomach is kind of a triangular shape. Put in that hind leg. This hind leg touches back here, comes down. Let's put in that other leg. And then we're gonna go ahead and take a look. It's starting to come a lot, starting to come together a lot more. We're still being nice and sketchy with our lines, you know, um, feeling out the drawing, and that helps a lot too, you know. You know, especially when we're drawing, you know, it just just kind of sketch it out and follow those lines, you know, and oops, scratch my nose. All right, so let's go back. One of the biggest landmarks in, um, for Pumba, Pumba is his nose. So I'm going to come down, and Pumba is spelled with two A's. Did you know that? And it's a Swahili word. 
So we have the nose. I'm going to come down and I'm going to draw an arc because that's where his tusk is going to come. Draw a line. And let's come around here. And his tusk comes out. It's kind of hard to see, but there it is. We're going to get sketchy with our lines. Or, you know, some people have a really sketchy style. And uh, if we look in the how to draw the marble way, there's one way where you really block out the shapes and stuff like that. And there's another version, another way that um, says like, oh, you gotta, you can be really sketchy with it. So there are two techniques to drawing. And um, I kind of like the sketchy way. It's really cool. And you know, it makes our drawings look more interesting. And if you ever look at the, you know, traditional animation, like the before it's cleaned up, it looks a lot like this. There's a lot of lines and they're really kind of loose and you kind of see those lines and then the cleanup artist cleans them up, you know? I mean, because these are, each drawing is a work of art. I mean, you know, it's drawn really well. So you can see that face coming to life right now. You know, and we're using all those lines to find the drawing. All right, I'm gonna draw that eye. Yeah, you can see the tusk right there. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. And awesome, look at that. And then, you can see I have this line already kind of mapped out. Come around here. And adding that mouth, see? If we just kind of get sketchy and get the values out, then we start kind of putting in those familiar shapes. We're good. You know, or it could be like another website, How to Draw Pumba. Yeah, we all know that site, right? <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> trash talking. But you know what? They can't talk trash back because their tutorials don't say anything. <laughs> yeah, I'm calling you guys out. I don't know. Have a, a, a drawing battle or something like that. Or a teaching battle. All right, so we're drawing that another eye. We're drawing kind of these little arcing lines right here. Draw one more line right there. And we got that other eye. And just drawing that pupil. And we draw another little line under. And then, so we got that nose. We're going to come up here, draw a little line, render this out. This cheekbone is going to come out. And I'm just using that original sketchy line to find that other cheekbone. I'm going to come down here. I got it. Then we're going to draw that kind of high line. And I'm going to adjust this line. I'm going to move it. Adjust the cheekbone just a little bit. Round it out just a little bit more. And um, so Pumbaa, like, who's your favorite character in Lion King? And I want you guys to answer that. I'd like to know. Um, and how does Lion King rank as your favorite Disney movie? And I'll talk about that after, if you guys are interested. So, we got that down right there. And we're going to draw this arc connecting these two eyes. And we're just going to adjust our drawing. So then, right here, we draw a little cheek. And then we draw that line. Awesome. So let's go ahead and we're going to render this nose. The nose is actually comes up to a pretty triangular point. Then let's add those nostrils, which are kind of circles with the, uh, or actually ovals. So you come around, and then we just draw boop, a line like that. Let's add the other one. Same kind of, do the same thing, mirror it a little bit. And then draw right here, draw that line. Awesome. Let's go ahead and put in that nose. Oh, he's got a big old tongue. And you know what P Timon always reminds me of? He reminds me of the show Lost, because they had warthogs in there. And they weren't as cute and cuddly. You know, they're actually kind of like crazy and mean, man. Those things are, you know. Like in uh, Lion King, he was like kind of a wimpy, but dude, warthogs are pretty tough dudes. They don't take any guff. So we'll just go ahead and start rendering them out. And let's go ahead and start cleaning up this side. And that brings 
to a point right here. This part you don't see. So let's erase this. And from here, we're going to draw this line. And what we're going to do is adjust this right here, because this almost connects with this. There it is. Awesome. And we got that stomach. And we're going to adjust the belly a little bit. And bring his bottom belly. Look at that. See, that's why it's awesome we have construction lines, guys, because we change it up. And then drawing that other leg, and the leg is kind of a simple long triangle. We bring it down. There's a little bump right here. There's a little calf bone. Come down and then draw a little bump here. And here is where his foot goes. Bang. Bang. We got one foot over there. Then we're going to draw his other. So then from here, we're going to draw other foot and draw his nail. And let's go take a step back and take a look at what we've got. Ah, I'm pretty happy with that. All we have to do is come by and start cleaning up this drawing. So we're going to come down here, clean up that line, erase that sketchy um, construction line. And then we're going to come here and we're just going to adjust, clean it up. Here, draw that line there, and these lines are kind of thick in his nose, so we're going to thicken them up by just going over them and rendering them out, and they kind of come thin towards the end. He. <laughs> Anyways, there we go. And if you guys are seeing my drawing app, uh, we also got a Halloween drawing app, and I want some ideas for drawings for those, so send those into Mahalo request, and I got um, a couple really goodies for you, but you know, if there's some cool Halloween theme that you want to see, let me know. And we're just going to clean up this tusk, make it look nice and white, we're going to brush his tusk by erasing, taking all that plaque out. And look at that. Now we're going to draw, yeah, oh, what's missing? His ears. So let's go ahead and map out his ears with a simple line come out. I'm going to curve it around and bring it right to there. And you're going to see, you're like, it looks like Pumbaa, but something's missing. Those ears are going to help us big time. And we're going to go ahead and draw the other ear because his, his ears were kind of kooky. And we're going to bring it out, come around. All right. Got that down, and we're going to draw another line right here. Come up. Awesome. Now there's still one more thing missing, and that's his awesome hair. So let's go ahead and draw a line right here, and then we're just going to map it out. There it is. So from here, let's map out his body. So here's his, okay, so there, so these are his hind quarters, so then let's go take a step back and look and see what we've got to do. I'm happy with his, his mouth, his body looks okay, it's always good to take a step back. Okay, let's see. I'm just going to render this out. through the figure right here. Let's see what I want to do. Bring down his chin just a little bit. And we erase these lines right here, our construction lines. It's always good to take a step back and look. Come around. All right, let's take a look. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's draw his other tusk here. His other tusk is going to probably be, let's draw a diagonal line. 
bring it out, come around here. Draw another line here. And we got his other tusk. Oh, looking all right. So let's get back to that hair. Let's draw another line right here. Oh, we have that mapped out, so then we could just kind of start putting that in. And they just make these kind of like triangular kind of lines. Then let's go ahead and put in that rest of the hair. And draw through the figure. Yep, it connects. Then we just erase those lines. And let's go ahead and just clean up those lines right there. Render those out. All right. We're just kind of rendering out and see I drew the tail over here, but in reality the tail's here. But see how light that was? That it doesn't really matter that I kind of misplaced it. Pinned the tail on the Pumba. I was a little off, but I got my second chance. And I, actually the tail finishes pretty much almost in the same place. I started it, so it still helped me out. So then we're going to come ahead and render that tail and make it look nicer. So we're going to close it in because it gets closer, the tail gets smaller. And do the same thing for the other one, make it get close. It comes right here, it basically touches. And then we're just going to draw his hair, comes out. This to uh, around here, and there we go. Now let's do some erasing, clean some cleanup. Then we do is just render out those lines. And then come over here. Render out those lines a little bit more. And we are good. Let's go ahead and work on this hind leg. And erase this line right here. Aha, see that? Works out really good. So then let's go ahead and add this back leg. And we're going to see a little bit more of it because it's the back leg. It's a little bit smaller just to give it that scale. Then we're going to draw some kind of triangular lines right here. And then another one. Boom. Got that leg. We're going to draw that last leg. And same thing, same kind of triangle. Draw two of them. So one right here. And a little line right there. Awesome. And then I'm just going to draw. Kind of like a little kind of pole or something like that to make him stand on. Then we're going to go ahead and render out the line of his underbelly. And we're going to clean up just a little bit right there under his jaw. And just erase some of those construction lines. And there we go. Let's take a look. And yeah, we got Pumba, guys. He's a, he's kind of a he's a toughy man. You know, he's got like a really big head, so um, he, uh, he almost always looks out of proportion. But you know, like ninety percent of this guy's body is his head. You know, and if we look at it, he's like, yeah, he's a really big, head heavy character. You know, and all we do is just now is just clean up our drawing. But um, fulfilling a request for a viewer who wanted to see Lion King. So we drew some of the most popular Lion King um, uh, characters. And we even going to throw them in an app so you can learn how to draw all the Lion King characters. But there we go. We got our cool, awesome Pumbaa from the Lion King. Just cleaning up those lines right now. Making them look all awesome. 
But if you guys have a request here at Mahalo, send that into requestamahalo.com and we will work on that as soon as possible. All right, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.